or to reciprocate with an announcement of further American reinforcements expected within the next 48 hours. This is the MBS Nightly News with Ted Phillips. The year 1960. John F. Kennedy was elected president of the United States of America. A young Cassius Clay won gold at the Summer Olympics in Rome. And exactly 10 years ago today, the world witnessed the unveiling of another true American hero. A special report now from Jim Sizemore. Thanks, Ted. Nobody will ever forget where they were on March 11, 1960. The day was announced at the Gila Flats Test Base, Arizona, that the Superman exists and he's American. The world's press looked on in awe as the U.S. Army demonstrated the incredible powers of a man who could take apart a 60-ton patent tank with a wave of his blue hand. His name, of course, is Dr. Manhattan. Little is known about the tragic accident that transformed a brilliant government scientist into the world's first and only super being. But one thing is certain, his powers are extraordinary. Teleportation, super strength, telekinesis, indestructibility. There seems to be no limit to what he is capable of. His ability to manipulate and synthesize matter at an atomic level has enabled incredible technological advances in the fields of renewable energy, national defense, and the space race. All have benefited from Dr. Manhattan's astonishing intellect and otherworldly abilities. And now, as a member of a recently formed group of mass adventurers, he has brought real superpower to a group of brave, ordinary men and women dedicated to fighting crime on our streets. Truly, Dr. Manhattan is a role model for young and old alike. So, what are your thoughts on 10 years of Dr. Manhattan? Well, now we've got God on our side, you know what I'm saying? He, he's the best thing ever happened to us. Do you love him? <laughs> he loves him. We all love him. He's my little <laughs> But to be honest, I don't think he thinks that he's real. Better blue than red, man. Better blue than red. So what next for America's Superman? With conflict escalating in Vietnam and President Nixon holding personal talks with Dr. Manhattan, could he hold the answer to the greatest problem of all? Vietnam. It's hard to imagine the world without him, isn't it, Ted? Absolutely, Jim. And so from everyone here at NBS Nightly News, we'd like to wish you a very happy birthday, Doc. We'll be back tomorrow at 6. Until then, good night. This has been a color presentation of MBS Nightly News.